Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about some great gift ideas for the saltwater aquarium hobby. Number 10. You really can't go wrong giving somebody a gift card to a place like uh, Worldwide Corals, uh, Jason Fox, Marine Depot, uh, Bulkery Supply, or just their local fish store. I mean, with the gift card, you know, you can pretty much buy anything you want. Coming in at number nine is a PAR meter. There are some budget PAR meters and there are some more expensive PAR meters, um, but they pretty much do the exact same thing. Basically, they're just going to tell you the PAR if you're light. And this is especially well for someone who has a SPS reef tank and they want to just dial in that PAR for their particular SPS that they have. And it will also work for someone who has a mixed reef or even just a, so a softy tank. Coming in at number eight are LEDs. Quite a few people already have LEDs on their tank already, but if they have their main LED, say like a Radeon or a Kessel or a, a Hydra or anything from AI, or even some of the other LEDs that I haven't mentioned, it's also good to give somebody some reef rights. That way they can supplement their main tank and with the reef rights you can get that real nice pop that the corals get whenever it's on really high blues. And another LED strip that's a little more budget friendly are the Orphic OR2 LED strips. And they do a fantastic job of making the corals pop as well for a lot less cheaper. A skimmer is also something that would be great to maybe replace an old model or uh, just a another model that doesn't perform as well as some of the newer models. Um, such skimmers as Reef Octopus, Bubble Magus, uh, Nios, uh, the Quantum, uh, and even Skims. Those are all some great skimmers that you know you could give somebody that maybe has an older skimmer or one they just don't really care about or it doesn't perform as well and that'd be a great gift number six so number six is an algae turf scrubber a lot of people kind of it's either hit and miss sometimes it works on somebody's tanks and the other times it doesn't work on somebody's tank uh, but definitely an algae turf scrubber if you have the space if you have a large sump uh, it's just another device that you can export nutrients with and you could actually put more fish in your tank and you could even feed more and who doesn't like a, a tank full of fish eating all the time and with an algae turf scrubber you can definitely do this number five so typically a reef tank and kind of a, a tech nerd kind of go hand in hand once you start getting nice corals to grow you want to take a good picture of them and sell them and in order to do that, a DSLR camera would be perfect for that. You can get macro shots, you can get videos, and, and you can edit the photos much more nicely. And even with a DSLR, you can start adding better content to a YouTube channel if you have a YouTube channel. Number four, an RODI system. So bulk resupply tends to have sales right around Black Friday, which is already passed, obviously. But they have great RODI systems at a great price, and even their RODI filters are a great price. And if you don't necessarily want to get a brand new RODI system for that person, you can just get them some brand new filters and make their water, you know, back to zero ppm and just really clean. And an RODI system will make a great gift. Number three. This is kind of in the same category as a algae turf scrubber, which is number six, I kind of think, uh, would be a roller mat. So a roller mat is basically going to replace the filter socks. Uh, you don't have to change those nasty things out every other day or every two days or even every day, just depending on how dirty your tank is. The roller mat will do this for you electronically, and all you have to do is replace a rolled up mat about once a month or so or just depending on once again how dirty your tank is they're quite costly but in the long run they'll be worth it you know if you consider how expensive the filter shocks are number two and this is a big one and it'll definitely take a little more planning 
and you may not necessarily be able to enjoy it on Christmas Day but I promise you if somebody gets this gift they'll be more than excited and it'll probably be the best Christmas gift you can give any reefer or Aquarius a trip to rap or magna you know especially if that person hasn't ever been to one of these big shows before it's just it's so amazing how how large our aquarium hobby has grown in the past five or even ten years um, but th these shows are just massive and they're a full weekend and, you know some of them the, the, the show actually starts you know we're just you know, getting together with friends and you know the week before taking off the whole week of work and just enjoying the, the whole experience number one and I'm sure you all guessed it you knew it was gonna come the Neptune Trident the unicorn now personally I think this thing looks pretty ugly and hideous they you know Neptune could have did a, a better job at designing this but you know they're with their new apex system that came out in 2016 they're kind of going for a different look here versus just the the square black or you know gray kind of look on everything uh, but the Neptune Trident will basically free up that person from having to do water tests every day every week you know having to dump all these chemicals down your sink or wherever they dump it um, and a Neptune Trident will test all the main parameters that that tank needs and I'm sure this is probably the number one gift that your Aquarius whoever you want to buy it for would want now I know all of these gifts were pretty expensive and they're almost not even attainable unless you got quite a bit of money saved up so I enlisted the help of one of my fellow reefing buddies Brad over at Bees Reef and he has his version of the top 10 gifts to give a reef Aquarius and his is a budget friendly version so I'm gonna go ahead and send it over to Brad right now and please don't forget to subscribe comment and like this video if you liked it and if I left off anything that you would want for Christmas go ahead and throw that in the comment section below today we're going to talk about 10 great gift ideas for the saltwater aquarium hobby Alright, so let's get right into it. Number 10 on this list is an iPhone or a cell phone camera filter. These filters are great at filtering out the blue lights to make the pictures of our tanks look the way that we see them with our naked eye. When you try to take a picture of a reef aquarium with all the heavy blue lighting, it's very difficult to distinguish color of the coral the way that our eyes can process it. So these filters are a great gift, they're inexpensive, and any reefer in your life would be happy to have one of these on their tank. Number nine is going to be an algae scraper. There's several different varieties. The flipper cleaner I use myself. Um, it works great. It has a spongy side and a scraping side, um, which work well. I primarily use the razor blade side, which is really nice for getting those hard to get algae scraped off. Um, the algae free is a great option as well because the wet side floats um, which is a nice uh, feature and another thing is just a standard scraper um, I have one of these and I've been using it for a little while works really well to get the hard to reach areas of the tank like the back glass it works really well for that and that would be a great gift also a great stocking stuffer number eight on this list is going to be a digital thermometer of some kind. Now this HANA Check Temp 1 um, is a really, really good thermometer. I have been using it for about a year now myself. I use it to uh, verify and calibrate the probes on my aquarium controller. I use it to check the temperature of my freshly mixed salt water um, before doing a water change. Use it when uh, temperature acclimating fish or coral. It's just really handy to have a good, reliable thermometer that you can trust. Another option from Hanna would be the Salinity Tester 2. Um, it, uh, it's a little more expensive, but it checks salinity as well as temperature. So uh, kind of a two for one and just a really great tool. This is waterproof um, and uh, would work really, really well for acclimating fish or coral, making new water for a water change, or just checking the salinity and the temperature of your tank. So that would be a great gift and another great stocking stuffer idea. On this list at number seven is going to be filter socks. Uh, filter socks, filter pads, 
not everyone likes them. Most people run them at least occasionally. Um, I personally use filter socks almost all the time just to polish the water. I don't change them out every day. I don't change them out every other day. I put them in the tank just to kind of catch the big particulates. Um, it really helps polish the water and give it that crystal clear look that uh, all reefers tend to love. So these are really inexpensive and who wouldn't love an extra handful of filter socks laying around. Coming in at number six is going to be aquarium test kits. So there's lots of different varieties. I'm gonna show you the ones that I personally use. Um, I really like the Salaford Calcium Test. Um, it's very inexpensive, it's very consistent, and um, I just like it. It gives me a clear reading. Um, for nitrates, I use the NIOS Test Kit. It's a little bit more expensive, but for nitrates, it's by far the best test kit that I have found with easy to read color change um, and a fairly simple test to use. Now for alkalinity, I use the Hanna Checker. Um, these things are about 50 bucks, but they are worth their weight in gold. Um, any Aquarius would be happy with any of the Hanna Checkers. Um, I think I use the alkalinity and the phosphorus ultra low range um, checkers for my tank. And I have been very happy. I've been using those for um, several years now and uh, could not could not be happier. Another option would be to get an ICP test. Now, I don't get ICP tests all that often, but when I do, ICPanalysis.com seems to be the best bang for the buck. You can pick these up for about 40 bucks and it will test everything in the tank just about. It can test way more than we can with our own test kits. Coming in at number five, we have Coral Food. Um, I personally really, really like Benepets from Benareef. Um, this has a dormant bacteria in it that whenever you put it into the water, actually gives, adds bacteria that can consume waste. Um, so instead of raising phosphates and nitrates, it tends to lower it. Um, coral aminos is a liquid coral food. Um, this one is great, especially for SPS. It really helps them cover up or color up. Um, you just have to be very cautious not to overdo it with the coral aminos or with the reef roids. Both these are very nutrient dense um, and if used in excess can cause issues rather quickly. Number four on this list is going to be fragging supplies. So you have things like frag plugs and frag tools. These frag plugs I personally really like. You can get a bag of these. Um, it's a resealable bag, comes with 30 plugs. They're a nice purple color. They, they look great in any tank. Um, if you are if you have a hobbyist in your life that is starting to frag corals and trade them with friends or possibly even sell them, these would be a great gift ideas for them. Um, this fragging toolkit from Bulk Reef Supply has all the basic fragging tools that you would need. You have bone cutters, scissors, uh, tweezers, and a scapel, um, as well as some super glue, which is a nice touch, all in a nice little carrying case. Coming in at number three is the uh, skimmer security from Auto Aqua. This, this thing is really neat. Um, it mounts to the skimmer cup. The sensor goes on the outside of the cup. You plug your skimmer into this, and then if your skimmer cup gets too full or if it starts to overflow for any reason, it just turns your skimmer off. Rather than overflowing the skimmer, making a big mess down in the sump, creating a bunch of foam, a bunch of micro bubbles, and you don't want to dump your skim mate back into your tank. That's why you have a skimmer to pull that out. So this is a really, really good option. Coming in at about $50, $60 range, but uh, well worth its weight. Number two on this list. Now bear with me here. This is a little bit different, but I don't know a reefer that wouldn't like some coral artwork from the likes of Josh Pork Sandwich um, or Bombshell Creations. They both do amazing artwork. Um, Josh Pork Sandwich has a ton of Zoas and he does these paintings with fluorescent paint. Um, you can get prints or canvas. Um, really cool sitting next to the fish tank and then Bombshell Creations does these really really cool um, fluorescent paint fish themed aquatic themed artwork pieces that just look amazing. Can you imagine that glowing next to the tank? It would look incredible. Those are great gift ideas guys. And last but not least, if you just can't think of anything, you don't want to get in the wrong gift, gift cards are the way to go. Let them pick out what they want, and you just load them up on a gift card. Bulk Reef Supply is one of the places I prefer to get a gift card to. Um, another place would be to the local fish store that you're 
um, hobbyists might go to. And another one, Home Depot. Guys, we get so much stuff for our tanks from Home Depot that it is ridiculous, whether it's plumbing or going to get lumber for a project. We want to build an equipment cabinet or whatever the case is. We need some paint. We need some, uh, you know, there's just so many things at Home Depot that we can get for our tanks that uh, we could use a gift card for. I know I could. I asked for Home Depot gift cards for Christmas, and it all goes back to the tank. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you.